Hey guys, it's Kristen with HK Wax Center. We're going to do men's nose hair waxing. Um, this is an awesome service, especially because some of us may or may not be totally aware of our nose hair, um, and other people are. But um, men and women can do it. Uh, it does tend to be more popular with men, just they tend to grow more nose hair, but I do it myself too, so men and women can both do it. Um, first thing to talk about is the type of wax to use. Um, there's two main types, hard wax and soft wax. Soft wax, looks like this. It will come in a can like this. Um, think of 40 year old virgin. It is really sticky. So you'll take a little bit of wax out, spread it really thin on your arm, take a muslin strip, put it on top and remove it. Um, you can only go over that area one time. Soft wax adheres to the skin, not to the hair. The hair just happens to come out with it when you're removing it. Soft wax tends to hurt more or tends to hurt more um, because it adheres to the skin, but you can also lift the skin and remove it if you go over that same area multiple times. So don't do that. You can only go over it one time. For that reason, um, uh, I would only recommend hard wax, especially for this. I've seen people do nose waxing with soft wax, but it doesn't really make sense to me, so hard wax. Um, hard wax, it can come in bead, tablet, or also in a can but it looks like this when it's melted. Um, hard wax adheres to the hair, not to the skin. So um, for hard wax, think of like candle wax. So when it's melted, you can spread it really easily. When it cools, it will encapsulate the hair and suction cup that hair. So whenever you remove it, it just comes right out. Um, you can go over the same area multiple times with hard wax. You'll see your client will be fine, unless it's obviously too hot, that's a different story. But if you use it properly, um, your client's skin is safe to go over it more than once. So, I use hard wax. I recommend hard wax. Um, for this video, I am gonna be using Mermaid Wax Signature Series. It's hypoallergenic and vegan. Um, so, especially for facial services, I really only prefer to stay with hypoallergenic waxes. Everyone's skin's super sensitive, so you just never know what you're gonna get. Um, now, for nose waxing, there's two main things to keep in mind. Piercings. Facial hair. Um, like I have a nose ring, absolutely I would want to take it out if I'm waxing my own nose or if my client has any kind of uh, facial piercings, take them out. Or facial hair, which my client today is a perfect example of that because he has a full beard. I do not want to get wax in his beard, God forbid, he's going to kill me if I start waxing out hairs that he, it's just, it's going to hurt a lot. Those are really deep rooted hairs. Do not recommend waxing facial hair on men. So what I will do in this case, to prevent that, I'm going to take a little piece of paper like this. I just tore off a little piece of paper towel and I'm going to cover his facial hair just like this. Um, some people also will take a little bit like dab of um, oil and like rub it in there. I prefer a paper towel just because I know I can see the hairs are covered. I'm not going to get wax stuck in there. Um, oil still, I just get a little bit hesitant with it. Nothing wrong with it, that's just my preference. So um, once we have examined and we know what we are working with, we are going to cleanse the skin first. So take a pre-wax cleanser, just a little bit. You don't need a whole lot. And you're just gonna clean, just like not even going in, just kind of on the outside. Some people like to use a pre-wax oil as well. Um, I only use that if there's uh, skin is really dry, but for nose and stuff like that, I don't think I've ever actually used a pre-wax oil before. So it's completely your preference type of wax you're using. Um, next, we're going to actually get a little bit of wax. So I'm gonna get two sticks in this case. I'm gonna show you how much wax in one and then I'll actually use the other one. But for a nose wax, you don't need a whole lot. You're just getting a little bit of wax, a little ball on the edge of your stick. You want the wax to be slow moving like honey or molasses. If it doesn't move at all, then uh, the wax itself is its not gonna be able to adhere to the hair. It's too cool. If it moves too hot, like if it's falling off my stick right now, they're gonna burn your client and they're gonna hate you. And again, they're probably not gonna come back. So this is the amount. Now that that's been out for too long, it would be too cool. So I need to get another stick. And then I will show you how to wax his nose. Okay, so I have my little ball. I'm going to cover his facial hair. You're gonna put it just on the inside. You're barely going in. You're not going in far. We just wanna get those hairs that poke out that no one wants to see. 
I like to spin it. I'll move it up and down. I'm really just trying to grab all those hairs around. Then once I'm done, I'm gonna pinch just a little bit. That will help the wax really adhere to the hair. Don't go too hard. They do have a, you know, a little bit of a stick in their nose. And we'll leave it there. Now you want the wax to 100% cool before you remove it. If I were to pull this out right now, it's gonna be globby. Um, I'll probably get punched. So don't do that. Wait for it to cool 100%. I'm gonna hit pause. That way you're not just sitting here staring at me waiting for this to cool and we'll be right back. Okay, we're back. Um, now he is ready to have this removed. One thing I do wanna uh, keep in mind that I haven't told you guys yet is technically you can put one stick on each side of his nose. Um, so he looked kind of like a walrus. Um, but I know my clients like to breathe. <laughs> So I prefer not to do that. You can, you can ask your customer if they're comfortable with that. I'd probably recommend that if you are gonna do it before you just pop two in there. Um, but it's really just kind of your preference. I prefer not to do that. That's just me. Um, a way to test if it's ready or not is I will kind of, you can zoom in on me, or on him. <laughs> um, I will kind of like squeeze. I'll see if I can stick my fingernail in like the edge of this wax right here. Cause if I can stick my fingernail in there, that means it's still not completely hardened. Um, that's the way I test it. I'm sure there's many other ways. It's just, just how I do it, but I will, now that he's ready, I'm going to kind of grip the base of his nose like this, pull, I'll grab the stick, pull with everything in you. Do not hesitate. Pull with all of your strength and I'll pinch his nose afterwards. That helps just with any kind of pain that he may or may not be feeling. And he's holding it at the moment, <laughs> but I know last time I didn't tell you that, or I didn't show you, um, what it looks like but hopefully y'all can see these crazy hairs that I just ripped out of his nose. <laughs> How you doing, Caleb? Yeah. Good, that's it. You wanna see? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, let me look. Um, with nose hair, uh, hair grows in all different directions. So especially for guys, I almost always have to do a second pass. Um, there's a little area like right up inside the nose. Uh, I call it the bat cave. There's a lot of like cluster of hairs right there. I personally like to do one strip or one stick in that area. So let me look. He's mostly good, up, but I am going to do one more on him. So let me get my other little strip. Again, covering the facial hair. I'm gonna go down this little section first and then I'm gonna go up and I'm gonna turn. And then we'll pinch it again. Again, I'm not like shoving this thing all the way in there. I'm just getting just on that inner base like that. All right, we'll hit pause one more time. I'll take this sucker out and he'll be set. Okay, he is ready. So again, I'm going to pinch the base of the nose, grab the other side, think really hard. Oh, he's perfect. Okay, let me show you this one so you can just see these all right here. That was in the back cave. That's exactly why I do that. These were some in the bottom that I just didn't get the first time. But now he is 100% good to go. Um, I always, you always want to use some kind of post wax care. Um, for the face, I prefer hydrocortisone cream. So I will get a little bit of that. You can use whatever you are comfortable with. There's tons of options out there. This is just what I prefer. So I'll put a little bit on the cotton round. And I'm just gonna rub the outside. And if you want to zoom in, you can see how Awesome, his nose looks now. Hopefully you can breathe better. You did good. You did good. Thank y'all for watching. Any questions, let me know. I'm always happy to answer questions for you guys. Um, I'll see you next time. Bye guys.